Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids and I'm happy that you stopped by. Today, we are in like a low-key blizzard. I'm sure quite a few of you at least have heard of the massive snow and ice storm that's kind of coming up from the south and moving like in a diagonal line up through like the Midwest. And I'm in Ohio, so of course that's kind of pelting us. We're very close to Lake Erie, so we're getting quite a lot of snow and ice today. And I figured that since I'm not gonna really be able to do anything else, I might as well take care of some odds and ends cleaning that I've been needing to do, and maybe even try to get this ceiling patch done that I've definitely needed to do. So <clears throat> I really don't wanna do any of it. So that's the best reason to just go ahead and get into it and get it done. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. On the edge, cleaning. So this is that kind of notorious catch-all area in our house. We have our reusable shopping bags, video game cases, every charger imaginable, uh, like plastic Walmart bags and Target bags. And up on top of the counters, we had way too many cords there that weren't even being used. So I went ahead and tidied those up and generally just put everything back in its place. I thought these two jello cups were absolutely hilarious. I guess the kids ended up putting them there for some reason or another. And um, yeah, that's just life with a two and a five year old. I wanted to go ahead and go through specifically these two toy boxes. This seems to be the two toy boxes that I just kind of throw everything into. And I noticed that they were starting to get really full. So I wanted to take the toys that mostly stay up in the kids' room back up to their places. As soon as I started going through these boxes though and digging out kind of the bottom toys, uh, everybody was very interested and totally wanted to play with them again. I'm a type one diabetic and I know I mentioned this in a previous video, but I thought I would just include this because this is the like just reality of my day-to-day -day life and the things that I have to do to make myself feel normal again because low blood sugar is really incapacitating so I kind of have to stop and fix that every time it happens. There's not too much to say here, really. The kids' um, homeschool cart just kind of got out of control and everything was everywhere. And I like to try to keep things relatively organized and sorted so that I can grab what I need anytime I need it. This didn't really take too long like most things I did today, but it did need done and I just wanted to go ahead and organize it super quickly.
Okay, so this entryway closet was way, way worse than the camera really could give it justice. Honestly, I have not touched this since we moved into this house a little less than a year ago. So there was so much junk here. I'm talking, we had like a year old swim diapers, coats that didn't fit, gloves that had no matches, shoes two sizes too small. This closet needed tackled today and I am so happy with the outcome. While I was cleaning out the entryway closet, Tess was in here making a Cheerio mess, so I went ahead and cleaned that up real quick. Then I really needed to clean under this entertainment stand, and I also really needed to vacuum under the couch. I haven't moved these places in a couple months, so honestly they weren't as bad as I thought they would be. There was just a lot of Cheez-Its and Legos. This part gave me a good chuckle. I am such a motivated person to clean, but then I run into situations like this, like a big pile of goldfish on the floor, and I absolutely refuse to bend over and pick them up. So I'll sit here and mash them with my vacuum so that it can pick them up for me. Ezra's at the age that he has his own little chore chart that he earns points for by doing some really simple things like tidying up his room and making his bed. I still like to come into each of their rooms at least once a week and just kind of reset everything and, you know, give it that mom touch of cleanliness.
this point I finished everything up on my extras list and now I'm just going to start working on my normal cleaning stuff. I forgot to show most of my cleaning supplies before I use them, but I'll leave a list in the description box of what I use. Next time I'll do a little better to remember to show off the cleaning supplies that I'm using. But I've always felt that something's missing That was until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky, oh There's nothing missing now that you're my dear Like acting 
like we were fiction in a book cause it's the way it goes and i will never know why you let me go look to the left look to the right nothing can stop me in the night like i'm leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong i know it's good if i'm wrong i got it i gotta go 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 run into better times go 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 from my emotions out go 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 run into better times to better times to better times Let me know down below in the comments, what do you all use to make your home smell good? Are you a wax warmer person? Do you use Febreze? Do you do simmer pots? These are the Glade Airwick, and then I also usually do candles. So I thought I would wrap up today's video with a real quick like blizzard recap and you can see that there was a ton of snow and it really took about two days for people to kind of start coming out of their homes again. It was really a perfect day to kind of get some odds and ends done because I we really couldn't do anything else. It was too cold, wasn't fun to play out in and yeah, totally a blizzard. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this sort of stuff, give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.